Alright, so now I've opened a new notepad, fresh install, as you can see. And I've typed in x is equal to 10 and print x. And now you can try uh, and save this, save this file, which is clicking on that, you know that already. If you do that, this thing comes out. And uh, all you need to do is to change this into an extension that works out with Python. Alright, uh, oops, sorry. Let's go and find where the Python is. Right there, right there. Okay. Python.py, I hope you can see that. Okay. Now, uh, it's up to you if you want to change this. Maybe you wanted to change the name, but in this case, I'll just leave it as new, so I don't need to type anything. Right, uh, in my case, it's new one. And I just go and save it. Right. There. All right, now it's saved. Uh, you can see that the, syn the syntax is identified by Notepad and gives a red color for the integer. And is, since print is a function, it shows it in the blue color. All right, now the problem is we are now using Python 3. So the things that you've been using in Python 2, 2 some of it would not try and work out. So what we do is, uh, instead of just saying print x, we need to put a parenthesis around what we're printing. So in this case, if you want to print x, then we put a parenthesis around that. And we need to move the parenthesis right next to the print. Alright, that's good enough. Now, of course, save that again. And now let's move on to the run to test if this thing works out. So run and Oh, sorry. Click on Run, and this thing would comes out. Come out, comes out. Sorry, and you know what to do with this. You are supposed to find where Python is, and in that case, you you click on this, which is an ellipsis, and this would bring out a box where we can search for where Python is. In, in my case, I think it's in G, as if you can remember. I installed it in G, and let's find Python. I hope we can find it. Uh, scroll bar. There you go. Python 34. Right there. And go to lib. Go to idle lib. And you see there's no files in the idle lib. So what you do is you... Oops, sorry. Click on this and select all files. And once you do that, I zoom out. Once you click on it, as you can see, I'm going to click on it a lot of other files would come out. And what we do with that is we find the word idle, the first idle that you see. So I'm scrolling down. There's three idles, not this one. You choose this one. So there's, there's a difference between the two. This, this one that we need is uh, size is 411 bytes. The, next, the one under that is 692 bytes. And it says no consoles, as you can see. Uh, let me let let me zoom on that. Uh, it says no console, but for the first one, wait. Let's wait for it to come out. All right, it doesn't say no console. There is no such thing as no console. This is what we need. We click on that. Now, the thing is, if you run this, this would not work out. You need to put something right beside it, which I would type in in a 